Hi mga katek! Welcome back sa ating channel. At kung first time mo dito, salamat sa pagbisita. Unang-una, gusto ko lang magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga subscribers ko. Maraming salamat sa supportan niyo, So, huwag ko yan na-appreciate. At kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, no worries. Sana magustuhan mo ang video na ito. At i-consider mo na rin na mag-subscribe para updated ka sa mga future natin mga uploads. Now, in today's video, we are going to answer with Arduino release timers and counters. This is essential for the automation and controlling electronic devices. Whether you're just starting out or looking to sharpen your skills, so this tutorial will guide you through the basics on how to bring your projects to life. Let's jump right in. Let's go! For this activity, we're going to need breadboard, and Arduino Uno, relay module, Push button switch Light emitting diode You can use any color Three hundred ohms resistor in series with light emitting diode or you can use 330 ohms then jumper wires and data cable uh, for uploading the sketch for the program to from the computer to Arduino so let's start. First, let's mount the post button switch to the breadboard here. So you will see the connections from the breadboard to your push button switch. Next, I put a temporary adhesive or you can use a double-sided tape just to, to mount this, uh, the Arduino Uno to the surface of the breadboard. Yeah. So just for temporary. For the sake of this activity. Then let's connect jumper wire from the Arduino. So here, five bolts. Then we'll connect it to this yellow line here in our positive in our breadboard, so that you can have a supply here, positive five bolts. Then we we'll connect ground or GND. Then connected to this blue line here. So 
So whenever the Arduino power up, so this will supply 5 volts positive and negative 5 uh, positive 5 volts and ground in this line. Then let's mount the LED. Okay, LED has a polarity, so here the longest terminal is the positive, this one here, and the shortest terminal is the negative. So we're going to connect this positive in the So negative to negative, just like here. Negative, this is negative. Mm. Positive here. Then uh, let's connect a resistor in series with this. Then we'll connect the jumper wire from here from the resistor to pin 13 in our Arduino. switch let's connect it to this connection here so the jumper wire and we'll connect it to the positive here then from here the other connection will connect it to pin number two. Then in our relay here, so we have three connections. You can see the input, VCC and ground, ground and VCC. So let's connect a jumper wire here in this connection, then we'll connect it to in our Arduino.
Okay. So for our BCC, we use white color jumper wire, black for ground, and brown for the signal. Then we'll connect it to Arduino. Okay, then double check. So white wire for BCC or 5 volts. So we'll connect it here on the red line. Then black foreground, so that is in a blue line. Then brown for input signal, so connect it to pin 8 in our Arduino. And let's have some uh, correction in the connection. Uh. So we are going to move this yellow line from the positive to the negative or the blue line. Okay. And then let's have, let's upload the program of this circuit. This is a combination of timer relay and a counter circuit okay so let's upload the program next let's open the program here counter or the counter activity now Then let's upload this to our Arduino board. Okay, let's upload. Okay, before uploading, make it sure that your Arduino board is connected to your computer. So by checking this, uh, you have to pick tools and see here the port. So here. And in order to verify that, uh, you have to click 
clipboard info. So that will display in our screen. So meaning your Arduino board is now in connection or connected in your computer. So that's the time you can upload the sketch from the computer to your Arduino. So let's upload. And uploading so we'll check if our circuit and program works okay here is our circuit so whenever I press this button so this green light from the relay module will light up means your relay is triggered switch on okay so when I press this one so you are going to hear the click from the relay module then after five seconds based on the program so it will turn it off so at the same time it will count how many times you are going to press this push button so let's see from the screen or from the serial monitor from our computer. So every time when I push this button, so it will count also from our serial monitor screen. Then you can see there count one. So the first uh, time that I press that button and then the relay will turn off after the timer so the timer in our program we set it into 5 seconds so you can adjust so based on your you can adjust the time for the relay to switch on so based on your preferences so whenever I push it again then that will send count two. Then after five seconds, the relay is off. Then press it again. So this time it count four. So meaning it is uh, four times that I press that button. Then count it again. Okay. So that's it.